Good day everyone! I am Natasha Inalo from BSN 1D Crew 5 and Skills Laboratory. In this video, I'll be serving and removing bedpan 3D patients. Good day everyone! In this video, I am going to serve and remove the bedpan in the patient. So first, I'll be introducing myself to the patient. Hello mom, I am Natasha Inalo, you're in your here today. And after that, after um, introducing yourself, we are going to identify the patient. So, mommy, I know your name. Yeah. Your age. Yeah. Your birthday. Yeah. So, after that, after introducing ourselves and identifying the patient, we are going to provide the privacy. Um, I, I'm done with that. I close the door. And then, after providing the privacy, I am now. Um, going to wash my hands and I'm done with that and then after that we're going to put the gloves on it on myself After providing an additional privacy to the patient, we're going to um, put up the blanket and the bath blanket to expose the area that the patient need to expose. To avoid, to avoid the bed getting wet. Mom, can you please bend your knees and raise your hips? You're good, mom. After that, we're going. I am going to put the bedpan on on her by asking her to um, rise her hips again. Mom, can you rise your hips again so that I can insert this bedpan? Are you okay, Mom? You feel comfortable? So after that, we're going back. We're going to put back the um, the blanket and the back blanket down down the perfect after um, serving the bed pan I will rise up the head of the bed in 90 degrees or the high fowler's position since the bed is not um, in a good condition, I asked the patient to um, sit. So let the patient in an upright position until she's done. When your patient said she's done or he's done, it's a time we could lower down the head of the bed or put it back to what it is before we do the procedure. Now when she's done, I will put 
I will rise up her blanket and my blanket again so that I could get the bed back. After getting the bedpan, make sure to have a plastic bag to put it on and put it on the bathroom. And do the very care for now. So, Mom, do you want me to do the very care or you want, do you want to do it? I will do it. In doing the very care, I will position my patient in a safe lateral position. Um, we're going to get a um, washcloth with, um, and dip it in warm water. And the uh, waterproof pad. Mom, can you bend your knees again? So after um, serving and removing that pad, we are now going to check the stool of the patient if it's normal or. In doing the very care, I will position my patient in a safe lateral position. Um, we're going to get a um, washcloth with, um, and dip it in warm water. After that, remove, remove the bed blanket. And the uh, waterproof pad. How can you bend your knees again? So after um, serving and removing bed pad, we are now going to check the stool of the patient if it's normal or after that, assist the client to a comfortable position, empty and clean the bedpan and return it to the bedside. Remove and discard your gloves and wash your hands after. And 
Also, don't forget to spray the room with air freshener as needed to control other or less contraindicated because of respiratory problems or allergies. And most importantly, document the color, other amount, and consistency of urine or feces and the condition of the perennial area.